Alta Señor Pina. Yes. 
Excuse me? Speak louder, louder, please. Sure, sure. You have to have patience to do this because you know why it conditions all your life. We opera singers, we are like athletes. We cannot eat certain things before singing. We cannot talk too much. We have to be silent, uh, well rested. We have to sleep at least eight hours. And uh, you have to have passion to do this. Otherwise, because it's your life, you carry your instrument with you. You see? Your body is your instrument. Yes? Uh, was opera the first type of singing you did? Or did I can't hear you. Did you, do, did you sing any type of, like, did you sing more or no, like only opera? Well, you know, uh, it's a good question. Um, when you're trained in a certain way, your voice projects in a certain way, uh, I could sing other, other, other type of music, pop, but I cannot sing with operatic voice, you know, a popular song because it's not, not beautiful. You see, it's not suitable either. I could do it, but after many years of training to sing classics, it's a pity to go on pop. If you have trained for a classic, that is more difficult. Yes? How long have you been singing opera? Uh, since I was 17. Then I discovered that I had a voice. I discovered that I had a voice by coincidence. I didn't know I had a voice. Uh, I remember when I was an adolescent, I was uh, 17 to 18. My last, I discovered this during my last year of high school. And I will tell you more, incredibly, uh, my voice in my adolescence was my, my complex. Why? Because I had a voice of a tenor that is lighter than the voice of a bass and baritone. All my friends in, in high school used to come in the morning and say, morning, morning, no. Have a beer, a new voice, I'm a man now. And I used to go to school and say, good morning. No, come lower enough, you know. But I was a tenor, I couldn't have this low, lower tone. And then I entered in a, at a church, at a Baptist church, with a group of friends, and there was a choir, uh, they, they were creating a choir for that church. And all my friends went to place their voices, and I went yeah, just for fun. And then uh, the, the maestro tested my voice at the piano. Ah, 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 I said, ah, then higher again, ah, 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 higher, ah, 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 ah. the maestro was uh, half a tone higher. Is that okay for you? Perfect. And he was looking at me, you know, like, half a tone, do you feel something? No, you feel it? Half a tone, it's okay, yes, half a tone, ah, 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 just looking at me like, then, are you sure you're not feeling anything? No, I'm not feeling Let's go a little bit higher. Is that okay for you? Ah! It was like, and he was looking at the piano. Half a tone? You don't feel anything? No. Half a tone higher. Okay. Ah! I put the, 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 
the piece of paper on my wallet, and I never called. Six months after, six months after, by coincidence, by coincidence, I met that voice teacher at a store, not a musical store, a store of uh, car accessories, nothing to do with music. And the manager of that store that was a friend of mine and knew that I, that I, that I had a voice, he said, you see, this is a Mrs. Aza. Are you Mrs. Aza? She said, yeah. Why? Oh. Hold on, let me, let, let me check this. And I took the, the, the paper, piece of paper, my one, that was already yellow. All the time, I never called. I said, if, you, if, if your telephone number is this, this, yes. Uh, Maestro Pagans wanted to call you and uh, uh, he, he gave me the uh, number. He said, what? Come to my, come to my house. He said, see. He said uh, I should start with you. Then she gave me an appointment. And, uh, and I went to her house. I went to her house. And the same thing happened. She started to test to to my voice. And then I was going higher and higher and higher. And then she was a professional uh, voice teacher and told me, you see, Enrique, you arrived to this high note that not many players have, have it, and you have it without technique. You should study, in fact. And then I thought to myself, well, that older guy that I thought he was not, he was not at all. The one that was ignorant was me. Then I started to study at the conservatory, and uh, well, then I studied at the conservatory in Santo Domingo, then went to Italy, and, and studied there. But it was, it was all a concert, so I uh, I studied that way, a concert, a concert, completely. What my advice to you is that you should listen to your own nature, what you're good for. In my opinion, this is one of the clues to be successful in life. You should do what you love, and you should do what you're sweet about. You, you have heard, I don't know if you have heard this saying in English, if, if God gave you lemon, do lemon. Don't try to do strawberry. Do lemon. What? Say, say lemon. Big coffee and eat the world wondering how you did it. Exactly, exactly, exactly. Because honestly, honestly, I discovered this uh, musical talent by coincidence. And for me to learn the music and to sing it, it takes me shorter time than other people that, that maybe they were, they wanted to be a singer and they chose to be a singer. In my case, I would say that my voice cho chose me to be singer. That is different. It's a different. Voice. Another question. Another question. In Italiano or French, if you want. Yes. <laughs> she asked if I enjoy singing in the bathroom. <laughs> That's a nice question. You know what happened? Everybody enjoys singing in the bathroom. You know why? Because the acoustic is so good there. We all sound great in the bathroom. It's you know, small plane and it has a good echo. Sure I do, sure I do. You get your own Bring it. Uh, what languages? What languages? What, in what language do I sing? I sing in French, in Italian, and in Spanish. I don't sing in German. A lot of song has been composed dedicated to that singing. Also, the mio means, oh, son, my son, the sunlight. You see? Why? Also, the mio was composed by an Italian who was overseas and in Napoleon. Napoleon Naples has a lot of song. 
in front of the sea. It's a beautiful sea, very blue water and very sunny. But this Napoleon was in a very cold country where the sky was always gray. And he was so nostalgic of this son of his uh, mother that he composed this song to the sun because he couldn't see the sun where he was in Northern Europe. So also let me, me let me tell you the words of you. Que bella cosa na jornada es hoy. What a beautiful thing, a day of sun. Nadia serena dopo una tempesta. The air is soft after the storm. Bella aria fresca pare già una festa. The air is so fresh that it seems to be like a party. Che bella cosa la giornata di sole. It repeats, what a beautiful thing, uh, a day of sun, a sunny day. So, then the, the, it continues and says, Manda tu sole più bello in me. Come si dice manda? Could you help me with the translation, please? Manda tu sole qui bello in Uh huh.
now the same people are, are being asked. I want new people to ask. So don't be shy, we're friends. This is our, please, please. Why are you so good? <laughs> <laughs> let me tell you something, let me tell you something. Uh, what we do on stage is never improvise. You see those sound I have done right now? I have practiced that for years and years and years and years and years. We never improvise, never. So practice is the clue of everything. Exactly. There is another question here. What is your name? But in singing, it's all sensation here. You don't see it. One day you're practicing, practicing, and doing the same exercise, and your voice teacher tells you, that's what I want. I said, oh my God, what did I do? Let's do it again. No, 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 what you did before. What did I do before? So you have to discover your body sensation. That's what makes singing so difficult. The last question there, what is your name? Carlos Reyes. Huh? Carlos Reyes. Oh, Reyes. What is your question? Tell me again. Do you think that you got your name from your parents? You inherited that voice. Did you from your parents, did you? Oh, oh, I get it, I get it. My mother uh, has always sung at a choir, at a choir. And she says, she says that when uh, I was born, she got whore. She had no voice, I'm sorry, I was born for like six months. She said, but my mother has a good ear, so I think I got that from here. Yes. Uh, we have to, to finish here. Thank you so much. For the, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much.